Okay, welcome to our video. We want to go over how to use Raptor. This video will be appropriate for first time Raptor users, as well as users who may have used Raptor before, but want to make sure that you're fully aware of all the tools and capabilities to get the most out of what Raptor can do. First thing we're going to cover is how to get a transcript into Raptor. You have three ways you can do that. Upload PDF, upload an image, or copy and paste. Let's take a look at Raptor. So when you log into Raptor, your first option here is to upload a PDF. Let's look at how that works. Click the upload button, find your PDF, and upload. You'll see it in the Raptor window like this. Similarly, you can upload an image. So if I click upload and I go through the same process, but I'd be selecting a .png or a .jpeg file, which would be an image instead of a PDF. It works the same way. The third way is by copy paste. So let's refresh my page. And if you have a transcript open in another browser or another uh, imaging system or another window on your computer, you can basically use your copy paste tool on your Windows or Mac. And you can take a copy of that transcript. You can take a copy of the whole transcript or part of that transcript. Let's just grab some section of this transcript here. Part of the transcript or the entire transcript, go back into Raptor and just hit your Control V or your Mac paste um, button. I think it might be Apple V or something like that on a, on a Mac, and you just paste it into the page. Let's move ahead to processing the transcript. So let's look at default processing uh, and then we'll look at multi page. So I'm going to go back to my multi-page PDF, which I started with a minute ago. Let's upload my PDF. With default processing, I'm just gonna leave this at its default setting, the default Raptor logic, and I simply click process file. Raptor is going to read the transcript and do its best to determine what are the terms, subjects, catalogs, units, and grade. Multi-page is just simply, if, you're, if your PDF or, or document has multiple pages, then use these buttons in the bottom of the screen to go to the next page. Here's page two, and I could simply do the same thing. Click process file. Raptor's gonna read the page and now inserted additional rows into my grid, which I can scroll here and see. And then using templates and checkboxes and the selector tool. So using templates and checkboxes. Sometimes you're going to have a transcript with some unusual characteristics. And check if grade is numeric. If I have a transcript which the grade is a number, in this case it's a letter grade, but if I have a transcript, the grade is a number, then I might want to check this box before I process the transcript and Raptor will know that it's looking for a numeric grade, like a, like a 3.0 or a 2.5. Same thing if the grade comes before the units. So on my transcript here, the units are first followed by the grade. But if my grade was first before the units, then I would check this box before processing the transcript. Similarly, you might have cases where you need to use a template. Let's show you a transcript that needs a template. Okay, here's a transcript from UCLA. Now, UCLA has a, an unusual format because the title is the first thing on the line, followed by subject, catalog, units, and grade. So we actually have a template for UCLA. Here it is here, uh, UCLA here. Right, so I'm gonna select the template before I process the transcript. So then I'll click process file. It's 
So there's the results for UCLA. Now, you want to be um, aware then that if you see a transcript that when you process the transcript, Raptor doesn't do a very good job of reading the courses, keep in mind that we might have a template for that transcript. So just to be aware of that. As you noticed here, once I process the file, the red is uh, words that Raptor decided are not uh, courses, whereas the green, so that's the not used. The green is the um, information that we decided is course related. And so these color coding, color coding is meant to help you quickly see um, what Raptor, uh, how Raptor did in terms of its accuracy of reading the file. Another thing to be aware of in processing the file is the slider here. It's kind of hard to see because it's over on the side here, but when you have a two column transcript, uh, one thing to keep in mind is you may sometimes get better results by positioning the slider between the two columns before you process the file. We covered multi-page, we covered templates and checkboxes. Let's look at the selector tool. So one thing to keep in mind is that, I'm gonna go ahead and empty my grid, is that this, we're referring to this document selector tool here. So sometimes you may wanna process only a part of a transcript. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, select only couple of semesters of coursework here. And I can click process file. All right, so you can see in this case, Raptor only processed the courses from these, from this area that I selected. If I need to clear my selection, I can, I can click the remove selection and that'll clear the document. Okay, so that's the selector tool. Let's look at editing the results. So after you've processed the document, you have a grid of data, but it's important to understand that you can edit this grid. Let's say that um, this speech one was actually speech 111, right? You can type in these cells. You can drag and copy, right? Think of it as an Excel worksheet, right? I can, I can highlight cells, select these two cells, and then I can drag the contents um, now, how do I insert rows into the grid? There's a couple of ways of inserting rows into the grid. One is just position your cursor in the bottom row and hit your enter, right? That's a way that you can insert, so insert rows. You can also right click and insert a row before or a row after, okay? And then similarly, you can delete rows. So I can highlight several rows using my mouse, right click, delete selected rows. So you can also select by clicking in the upper left corner here, I can select all the contents of the grid. Okay, you have a, a let's say I type something here. I can also undo, that's an undo and redo. So I undo my typing and redo my typing. Okay, so these are various functions to be aware of in how the grid works. One is this swap, switch the units in grade. If, if Raptor has somehow put the wrong data, uh, if Raptor had put C, 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 and if Raptor had three, 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 right, then I can switch those columns and put them in the right columns. Let's look at zooming and using edit mode. So sometimes you have a transcript that is small. The font is very small and hard to read. So we do have the magnifier tool, which is here. If you turn this on and you hover your mouse, you will see that it magnifies the transcript so you can see it better. Um, you can also turn this off by clicking to turn it off. Um, that's the zooming function. Let's look at edit mode. So sometimes you may have a transcript where you need to do some significant uh, cleanup. And so we really advise that you try edit mode. If you click edit mode, and there is a video uh, here to specifically how to use edit mode. So we encourage you to watch that video. 
Um, but the edit mode um, has a, what we call a static zoom. So once you zoom, it'll, it'll hold the zoom uh, to a particular magnification and you can scroll around in, in that zoomed area. So if you wanna focus specifically, let's say you're focusing specifically on the winter, uh, these winter courses or these spring courses, you can hold that zoom and then type specifically um, for the, in, the, in the grid. Again, I might wanna enter, create a couple of cells or a rows, and then I can type um, and hold the magnification. So we really recommend uh, working in the, um, in the edit mode. I'm, I'm using my tab to tab between cells on the row. Now, specifically, you'll notice it's a lot easier to edit the title, to type the title here, because we're not using the type ahead. So I can just type freely here and say AIDS, Society, and Science. And then I just hit tab. Uh, there's a whole video on edit mode. There's a lot of functions here. We encourage you to watch that. Um, we can also switch to horizontal layout, which again will hold the level of magnification. And then I can um, type if I prefer to do my edits in a horizontal way in a layout. Once whatever changes I make here, let's just go ahead and fill in my title here. History of the West. Right, whatever edits I make here, I'm just gonna close out and it will retain, the grid will retain those edits. So I really recommend working in edit mode. And then we have, if you happen to be on a small monitor, so I'm on a narrow monitor. So the grid is actually gone. Uh, the grid is actually forced below the transcript area because of the smallness of my monitor. So if you're on a laptop or something, you can't control the size of your monitor then we recommend shrinking, um, go to your browser functions and shrink your browser so that now the grid will show side by side when you need help. So we have several mechanisms. I really wanna recommend you reach out to us if you have any trouble whatsoever or any questions about what I showed you today. One is the chat function. So you'll notice that when you sign into Raptor in the bottom right is a chat dialogue, right? So just click on this. You're going to type in your name and the school you're associated with, and you can start chatting with us. Another method is share a transcript or contact us, right? So we really recommend check out this um, share a transcript here. So if you're working on a transcript and Raptor is not doing a very good job with it, feel free to reach out to us and share a transcript with us. So use your Use your um, editing tool to remove any student information identifying. We don't need the student's name and address and that kind of thing, but you can share the layout of the transcript by just uploading and sending it to us um, here through share a transcript, right? And we will then take a look at that and help you with that. Then other methodologies we recommend, please be aware of this help um, menu item here. There's a lot of other videos here, specifically of how to use the edit mode, how to share a transcript. Really suggest looking at this micro techniques tutorials. The micro techniques tutorial goes to our website and has several tips and techniques uh, for specific problems that you might have. Certain error messages you might get, how to copy the entire grid contents, how to use the selector tool, what happens if I get, you know, various special cases. Now these, um, these videos will take you out to our YouTube channel. So if I click on this, this, this will take you to our Smart Panda Tools web uh, channel, right? So here is all our Smart Panda Tools YouTube videos. We have a whole section of Raptor videos that we strongly suggest that you take a look at. In the help section also is the contact us, where again, you can click on this, it'll open our website and you can uh, type a message to us uh, also through our, through our website. So there's various ways. Well, thank you for your time. 
really are excited about you using Raptor. 